Hey guys, I'm Adam Fennig with Fennig Equipment. You're tuned into the Talking Shed. Today is January 3rd. We're out here in this field. We've been comparing residue breakdown. We've got the devastated field over here on uh, be my right. And then we've got the non-devastated field over here. And, and what we're wanting to do is just follow this residue breakdown through the fall into the winter. And just to see what this stuff is like this spring to show you how the residue breaks down much better with the Yetter Devastator. So here I've got our standard stalk that was standing straight up. We've had an abundant amount of rain here this fall and, and this winter even. Um, this is what it looks like on a standing stalk. Never, this stalk was never busted open. We had to take a razor blade knife and cut this open. It's fresh, it's clean, there's no uh, microbial activity inside of here and when this is shut like this it's really hard and it'll take a long time for this to ever break down and return these nutrients back to the soil so that's what you would be dealing with without the devastator with the devastator I just grabbed one of these stalks right here and as you can see like usual they are attached to the root ball still we do not remove anything from the root from the root ball so I've got this stalk here, if you can zoom in there and see how, how much microbial activity, how the moisture and how it's, how it's rotting and, and breaking down. This stalk here, um, it, it's just so much more brittle and flimsy. Uh, it's, it's soaking wet all the way through. You can break this stalk open pretty easily. Um, compared to uh, this stalk right here, which is much stronger uh, before it's cut open. So big differences already just in January. This stuff was harvested probably uh, late October, I would imagine. So we're not too far into it. Uh, we haven't really had much freezing and thawing. It'll be interesting to see how this stuff progresses as we go into uh, February, March and uh, we'll probably no-till beans into this one right here. So uh, be interesting to see. Um, that's what we're doing today, following this breakdown. Of course, the, the Yetter Devastator requires no additional horsepower and no additional fuel and no additional passes. So it's that easy to manage residue. So that's what we're doing today. Thanks for tuning in.